lavender purple. Is that the word? Cornflower blue, per whatever. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got Friday favorites and foodies for you today, and I've got some revisited favorites. I've got some new goodies, just some fun things to share with y'all. So if you're new here, my name is Leslie. Welcome. I love to do favorites videos, new drugstore reviews, um, get ready with me, it's empty. It's just a lot of fun stuff here on my channel. So if you're new, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button and stuck around for a while. I'd love to have you here on my channel. So yeah, we are chatting about Friday favorites, so let's get to it. Okay, so first off for eyes, Alter Ego sent me their new palette, the Dream Gaze, and it's so pretty. I've been liking kind of like a combo of kind of like warm tones and cool tones together, and I feel like this palette has that in it. So, oh, I've also been bringing in this a little bit. I've mentioned this several times recently, the Palladio Eyeshadow Quads in, I was going to say Botanical and Vitamin Infused. I don't think that's the name of it. Classy. Classy is the name. So I have a little bit of this in my crease, kind of as an initial blending shade. And then I have this shade, this kind of peachy shade. So kind of a little bit more like warm, neutral crease, but I also put it all over my lid. Then I would use a cream shadow. I'll share in a second and I would layer it with like say I'm wearing this one first and then I have a little bit of this over the top and this one right here is a very fun unique duochrome because it's pink but also has this almost like lavender blue shift or lavender well like it's pink and lavender I would say I don't think it goes full on like blue but kind of like lavender like Blurple. Is that the word? Like cornflower blue, blurple, per whatever. <laughs> and then I have a little bit of this on the inner corners of my eyes, which is such a fun duochrome. And I've run out of fingers, but I have a tiny bit of this kind of like purpley shade on the kind of outer corner and then blend it into my crease. And this one's beautiful too. This palette is so fun. If you like just fun pastel shades that are just kind of softer, I think you would really like this palette and I think it's fun for spring. It's not like crazy. You can see it's, it is pastel. It's lighter. It's softer, but that's fun. You know, I like it. I think it's a lot of fun. I like to just kind of like pair it with other things, play with it in different ways. But that shade right there is just so beautiful and fun. I love that duo chromey kind of a shade. It's so beautiful. And this one, where is it? Oh man, it looks so different in the swatch right now. That one right there. I mean, I guess it kind of looks like that on my eyes, but dual chrome shadows are so fun because I just feel like they look so different, different ways and directions that you look at them. You know what I mean? Like it looks a lot more peachy. I, I don't know. I thought it was more kind of on the pinky, um, shifty side but it looks like it has a lot of peach at least from this direction anyway they're just fun duo chromey shadows but there's others you know that are just full-on like matte shadows like this really fun blue and this one right here that's kind of like minty green it's just a beautiful fun pastel palette and the packaging is beautiful too so the cream shadow i've been putting on my lid and then like pairing it with those kind of like pastel duo chromey shades i love this, this is the wet and wild Shadow Silk in, I don't ever remember what this color name is, but I'll list it down below for you. It's the kind of like rose gold kind of one, and it's beautiful. It is pigmented and beautiful, and I would just describe it as a really nice rose gold. If you love a good, just metallic looking cream shadow, this is it. And it's definitely more on the metallic side. Let me show you this watch real quick. I don't think it really has any shimmer in it. I still have purple on my thumb. <laughs> I yeah, like it's really, it's metallic. It is not like sparkly or anything like that. So if you like just more metallic versus sparkle, this is beautiful. I love both, but a lot of times like I'll, I'll pair this with something else. Like, you know, layer it with something like I did with the duo chromes from this. But I always love a sparkly shadow. But if you like more of a metallic shadow, this is definitely more on the metallic side, not sparkly. For cheeks, I have a couple favorites. I have a blush favorite and then a bronzer favorite, and I've been liking them kind of paired together. So this is one of the new NYX Buttermelt Bronzers, and this is in the shade Butter Biscuit, which is BMB 
04 and it says medium golden um and i think that these are supposed to all be a little bit more on the like cool toned or rosy side they smell good what does that smell like like floral but oh it smells like a certain kind of flower to me is it honeysuckle i don't know I'm probably way off on that, but it has a scent, but I like the scent. It's not very overpowering at all. Like I have to get pretty close to it to smell it. But as I'm putting on, I can smell it a little bit. Anyway, here is this. So these have a little, at least this one, has a little bit of like a satiny sheen to it. I like this. I think this is a very pretty color. I don't think it's overly, I think this still has quite a bit of warmth to it. Like it looks more warm, slightly orangey than pinky, red, or cool tone to me. I still really like it. I really like the formula of it. Like it blends really well. I've been putting it on with a small stipple brush because the formula of it is like a very kind of silky sort of a formula to it. So I've been liking it with a small stipple brush. It's pigmented. At least this shade on me is pigmented. So I have to be pretty light handed with it. Don't use very much, but it blends out nicely. It ends up looking really pretty, almost that blush bronzer sort of color, which I do like. I do wish it were just a little bit more red or pinky tone, but it's not like overly orange. But I've been reaching for it. So, I mean, every time I put it on, I end up really liking how it looks. So I keep reaching for it. So that's why it's favorite. And I really like the packaging. I think that's super duper cute. Okay, then the blush. This is that Amazon. I got this off Amazon. The Cheeky Blush from Tin Tark. Tin Tark Cheeky Blush cute cute packaging on it and this is the shade calla lily 02 calla lily I, I can't remember which one i've i think i've talked about this already i can't remember i know i've talked about at least one color i think i have two this is so cute it's just a really pretty warm corally pinky sort of shade so i love it for this time of year i like these together i just think they pair really nicely together they both blend well. This one is definitely more of a matte. So I find that matte blushes, like I usually like to, especially if they're pigmented, I like to get them on my brush, kind of like tap them on the back of my hand and then apply them. I find I get a better blend that way, but then doing it like that, I don't have any blending problems with it. It mixes nicely with this, seems to wear well. Um, and I think it's a fun combo for kind of like going into, you know, spring, summer, warmer weather because it has that kind of bronzy, warm, corally sort of combo. And again, I'm liking that kind of like a little bit of cool and warm tones together. I think it's fun. We're just moving along here. I think we're already to lip favorites. Yeah, because I really didn't talk about this much, but I feel like I've already kind of talked about this. This is a great matte palette by itself or paired with other things. I mean, there's not much to say about it other than I really like the formula. I like that it's all matte. I like that I can pair it with sparkly shadows, potted shadows, cream shadows, whatever shadows. It works great in that way, but it's just, it's a good companion palette. If you like a good matte palette either by itself or a companion palette, this one is awesome and it's affordable. Okay, lip favorite. Um, mainly this, but then this for just a little bit of like shape on my lips. Really anytime I wear a lip liner, I mean not a lip liner, a lip gloss, I like to pair it with a lip liner because I just like a little bit more precision around the outsides of my lips, especially my upper lip. I've mentioned that many, many times. Okay, so the lip liner is the Maybelline Color Sensational Shaping Lip Liner in Magnetic Mauve. So definitely like a cool toned pinky mauve shade. Very pretty. I love the formula of those liners. Talk about them all the time. And then this is the e.l.f. Lip Plumping Gloss in Sparkling Rose. And this definitely has a little bit of like a, I would almost call it like a cool tingle. Like it's almost a little bit of both. Like it has that kind of icy hot, cool feeling on the lips, but then almost like a tingly sort of sensation. Love the color. Such a beautiful pinky shade. Really beautiful has some tackiness to it. So has a little bit better wear time, but definitely has more of a tacky feeling on the lips. I'm fine with that. I like both kinds of glosses. It smells good, like a subtle vanilla scent. So I love the scent and you can kind of see them separately there together. Let's just layer a little bit so you can kind of see them layered. There you go. And then also on my lips, my lips are kind of just naturally pinky mauve. So 
Love it. I think this is a good kind of neutral-ish look for my natural lip color just because my lips are more of that pinky mauve color. And this sort of ends up being that kind of that kind of combo. So I really like this. And I like it with this. They're a good combo. All right, you guys. So those are all my favorites. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please give a thumbs up if you did. Let me know down below what you have been loving or maybe not so much loving. Let me know what you've been up to recently. I would love to know that. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And I'll see you in my next video.